right, 7 a.m. Saturday morning. Uh, there's about uh, just over 100 sales listed today. I got my coffee. Every morning I go to Tim Hortons, I get a, uh, what did I get? A uh, medium double-double with a shot of espresso to kind of wake me up. And a uh, honey dip donut for all of you that were wondering what my uh, pre-game meal plan is. Anyways, 100 sales listed. It's a uh, far cry from the 300 that were listed in uh, the month of May. Uh, man, I wish I wish I was half as interesting as uh, as Bithead 1000, and I uh, could start off these videos by telling you guys a a story. But I can't even hold a candle to that guy. That man is one of the most interesting people I've ever watched. He's that good. Um, he amazes me. A, uh, lo this week's video on 4th of July was almost an hour long and I watched every second of it. And not once was I even considering turning it off. Um, if you haven't checked out Bithead 1000, uh, go ahead and do so. You'll be doing yourself a huge favor. Um, that guy, I, I always listen to Kevin Smith. I'm a big fan of Kevin Smith and as, as a storyteller, Ricky Gervais. Those two guys in my mind are some of the greatest storytellers there are. And I gotta be honest with you, Bithead 1000 is pretty damn close. That guy can tell a story. He's just an interesting dude. That uh, that accent, I don't know if it makes things more funny. Um, everything he says are more interesting, but uh, I definitely have a uh, man crush on Bithead 1000 right now. That guy, I, I, I love his videos. He should have way more subscribers, so... Um, go ahead and please check out Bithead 1000 if you haven't done so already. Uh, so anyways guys, um, hopefully I can uh, come through and find some good stuff today. Um, you know, I always find decent stuff, but uh, I haven't had a really big, big day for about a month now. So, <clears throat> at least not compared to uh, what I was doing in May. I know a lot of you kill me on that whenever I say I didn't have a great day. I am very thankful for everything I find. I really am. Um, I know how lucky I am to uh, not have to rely on pawn shops and uh, retro game stores to pick up my video games. Pretty much solely, I I rely on nothing but garage sales, um, especially this time of year. So, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm extremely thankful for the stuff that I'm able to pick up. Um, I, I just I pick up so much stuff that it may seem like I, I don't appreciate it, but I really do. So, uh, anyways, guys, I'm going on and on here. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully, we find some good stuff today. The camera, I've ironed out some kinks. I looked up some troubleshooting, so I should uh, get a lot more footage than I have been. And uh, we are almost at 16,000 subscribers. So, thank you to uh, all my new subscribers. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm going to hit 20,000 subscribers by Christmas, which is uh, absolutely crazy. And the uh, Facebook page hit over 1,000 subscribers, so thank you everyone for that. Uh, anyways, I'll, I'll get right to this. Cool. All right, what a uh, what a fantastic way to start the day. Um, N64 with expansion pack, two controllers, and probably ten games, ten really good games to be honest. Uh, we'll go through them when we get home. But um, <clears throat> I just asked him what he wanted on it, and he said twenty bucks. That was the number I had in my head. So very very happy that I was able to pick that up for sale in the morning. It's uh, around twenty to eight. So very happy to start the day like this. That is the sale right there um, that I just left with the N64 stuff. I asked him at the end if he had any more stuff. Here he comes. And uh, he right now he's looking for Game Boy stuff. So we'll see if he finds anything. Okay, so that was awesome. I walked to the driveway and he's like, oh, sorry, man. I was only able to find 
uh, one game, Pokemon Crystal. He's like, just give me a buck for it. Fantastic. I couldn't be happier with how this morning has started. Uh, on to the next sale. Psycho? I've never yeah. seen that one. Yeah. yeah. What would you want just for the Nintendo and the sleeves are as is? Yeah, 20 bucks now. I, 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 you and, yeah. <laughs> I can offer you five. That's about it. I just because I don't know if it works and there's no port. Sure. Do with that. Do you want that too? Just because sure. it's awesome? <laughs> <laughs> My son will have fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, it was like a third party type of. I think so. Maybe thing. like a wireless kind of thing that probably never worked very well. I, don't know. <laughs> I think it worked okay. Really? <laughs> I, I remember having it as a kid, I just can't remember what I played it on. I had the power glove as a kid, and that was like the worst thing <laughs> ever. It was cool, but it never worked. Right? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay, thanks a lot. I awesome, appreciate it. So it would be, I can do like, the most like, like do no, 30, yeah, I'll give you a shoe. I, I can do 25, that's about the best I can do. Sure, okay. It's not like I'm going to play anyways. That's okay. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Okay, the luck continues. It's uh, about 10 after 8. Picked up an NES, really clean. I'm hoping that it works. Uh, five bucks came with this sleeve here. That's all I could find. Um, rolled up on a sale, saw a whole bunch of PS2 and um, Xbox, original Xbox stuff. Um, I wasn't even going to turn around and turn around and look at them, but I've. You've always got to look at Xbox games for this exact reason. I was able to find a copy of Conquer Live and Reloaded, complete in fantastic condition. The one I have, I found last summer, uh, was missing the manual. So, um, you know, this is the only time I've. I've, this is the second time I've seen this in the wild, which is, uh, it's, it's pretty uncommon, at least around here. Um, and then I found this, the Live and Reloaded demo, which I thought I would pick up. I can't even look inside. Yeah, disc is in there, that's good. Um, so I don't know when this was given out, but um, I'm guessing it was handed out as a promo. You can see zero dollars from, I believe, EB Games at some point. So, uh, I was going to grab that. I ended up grabbing... Sorry guys, that huge stack. Uh, I was gonna grab that and speed punks and give them and offer them like five bucks, but I decided to make an offer on the whole stack, and uh, so basically I got all those for twenty five bucks, including the Conkers. Um, there's probably twenty something games there, Xbox and PS2, uh, some good titles. So uh, yeah, the my luck continues, and uh, hopefully I can find a couple more nice bundles. Power Rangers, Empire Strikes Back, and Tournament Fighters. Turtles. Okay. Um, and you sure you don't want to sell the system and, and the rest? Pretty sure. Probably, look, I can probably offer you like 40 or 50 bucks. No. No. Fair enough, I understand. <laughs> well, what would you want for that stock there? Five bucks. Sure. Have a uh, change there? Yep, I do. What do you think? Ten? Ten, yeah. There you go. Thanks. Thanks very much. Um, 
use was Sonic. Like uh, 30 bucks for this stuff? Mm -hmm. I got that on a good DD for 100. <laughs> I'll take 50 for it. I can't do that. Um, I, can, I can, fast I can offer is probably 30 just for that. Hey guys, for 10 bucks I picked up a Genesis with uh, two controllers, a couple random Xbox games, Halo 2, Medal of Honor European Assault, a Ocarina of Time strategy guide, pretty cool to have that, <coughs> Stuntman, really good game actually, and a copy of Metal Gear Solid for the PS1, probably my favorite game of all time. Easily my top five. Okay guys, we are back at the house. I'm going to start doing my um, overviews of everything I pick up down here in the game room from now on. Um, it's a little bit better. It's just, I shoot it upstairs sometimes just when I'm lazy, which is all the time lately. Um, just because it's easier just to kind of shoot everything on the table. But it's, it's much nicer if I do it like this. So... Um, you know, try and be less lazy. Uh, like I said, this um, it's summertime. Um, I'm obviously I haven't been getting as many videos up, so I apologize for that. But um, with it being summer, I'm not home as much. I'm out with the kids doing stuff, and uh, I'm still whatever is going on with me is still kind of wiping me out. So I'm still super tired and extra lazy, more more lazy than I am normally. So um, I'm gonna try my best to get more videos out, basically. Uh, so anyways, it was a pretty good day, um, not as good as the May days, like I said, but uh, I'm happy. Uh, it's, it's, it's different, it's kind of a different mentality right now, I'm definitely more laid back. I kind of just go out and uh, follow my normal route, and if I find stuff, I find stuff. It's more relaxed, which is actually a lot nicer. In May, it's, you know, it's a race to hit as many sales as possible and get find as much stuff as I can. It's more of a crapshoot um, in these in these kind of summer months, so it's, it's just far laid back and it's actually kind of more enjoyable, so. Okay, uh, where should I start? At the one sale I picked up a, a lot of the stuff you've seen, most of the stuff you guys saw, but I'm just kind of gonna go over things again. The uh, NES, haven't had a chance to test it yet, but it looks like it's in decent shape, pretty clean. A, um, um, Sleeve, five bucks. Can't really argue with that. Hopefully, we'll get that to work. Um, so here's the stack of uh, Super Nintendo games that I found. Like I said, five games, five bucks. I could not convince them to sell the system. Um, they listed off Mario, Donkey Kong, all that stuff. They, they wouldn't bring it out. So I picked up Super Empire Strikes Back. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Beauty and the Beast, which I needed, that's awesome. Uh, unfortunately, it's a Disney game, but it's not done by Capcom, it's a Hudson Soft game. So I'm not sure how good it is. Uh, Aladdin, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. So I was pretty happy to get those. We'll go through these here. Okay, so huge stack of PS2, Xbox stuff. I'm pretty sure you guys saw it in the footage. I haven't been able to go through the footage yet, so I'm not quite sure what the camera caught. The camera's actually been working really well. I uh, ironed out some kinks. I went through the, I found a guide, a um, frequently asked questions guide, so I kind of figured things out a bit better. So I should be able to get, the footage should be on point from now on, so. Um, Found the Xbox games. You could see in the video they were kind of facing the wrong way, so I debated even looking at them. Thank God I did. I turned them around, and the first 
thing that really caught my eye was um, Conquer Live and Reloaded. You can see it's complete. And uh, the manual and disc are just in fantastic condition. So extremely happy. Uh, made a mistake. I left these in the car today. And uh, when I went to get the stuff out, these were sitting like right in the front seat. And they were scorching hot. So I really hope it didn't uh, mess the game up. Really stupid of me. Basically, I came inside, put the kids to bed, and I forgot that I left the stuff in the car, and I fell asleep. Not smart. So, uh, and also the Conquer Live and Reloaded um, demo disc, which looks like it was from EB or uh, GameStop. Um, a couple PS uh, PS One games there. Uh, this one caught my eye. I don't think I have it. It's a kart racer, Speed Punks, and I've never played it, but it actually looks pretty cool. I'm trying to think. Is it a first party Sony game? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Um, let me know if you guys have played that, if it's any good. I remember seeing it when it first came out, but. Okay, we'll start with the PS2 stuff here. Uh, Death Jam Vendetta. Unfortunately, it's greatest hit, or else I'd be keeping that. All these are complete and in really good condition. Uh, freestyle, motocross, swing away golf, 4x4 Evo, chess master, uh, GTA Vice City, Tony Hawk 3, that's my favorite Tony Hawk, uh, Silent Scope, Need for Speed Underground, Britney's Dance Beat, uh, and The Simpsons Road Rage. And for the Xbox, Need for Speed Most Wanted Black Edition, uh, Burnout Revenge, Halo 2, Test Drive Eve of Destruction, SSX on Tour, Amped 2, uh, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory Lim Limited Collector's Edition. Pretty sure I'm going to keep this one, swap out my regular one that I have in my collection. Uh, limited Edition Bonus DVD. It's kind of got a really cool steel book. I actually really like that. Pretty cool with the clear slit. Just got to clean it up a little bit. Definitely going to hold on to that. I like that a lot. Uh, Dead or Alive Ultimate with uh, Dead or Alive 1 and 2 box set. Nice condition. These games are all in really good condition to be honest. 007 Everything or Nothing. Fusion Frenzy, great party game. And uh, Counter Strike. So that's 25 games. 26 maybe for 25 bucks, so a buck a piece. Actually paid a bit more than I would have wanted to, but not too bad. Okay. Um, I think I got footage of this one. This one is a pretty... Uh, they had a whole bunch of bins just full of crap, and I really had to dig to find this stuff. So uh, I just threw this in to make the deal and really care for it. It's got a nice case. I thought I might be able to harvest it. Uh, Medal of Honor European Assault. A really nice copy of Metal Gear Solid. It's in pretty good condition. Got the manual, both discs. God, I love this game. I think it might be time for another playthrough. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, PS1, black label. Another copy of Halo 2. A Sega Genesis with the... Uh, I just grabbed this. Manister attachment in case I come across the gun without it. Two controllers. Here's the system. Looks like it's in okay condition. Um, most of the time, I've had pretty good luck with Genesis. Genesi. And kind of the coolest thing was this... Um, was the uh, uh, Ocarina of Time guide. It's a little beat up. Some of the pages... In the back. No, actually they're not loose. Just kind of fold it over. But a uh, really cool guide. I'm guessing this is actually released by Nintendo. 
versus books. I've never heard of these. Official licensed Nintendo products. So, um, Ocarina of Time guide. Very cool to have that. Uh, everything that there was ten bucks. I picked up this Pokemon official magazine. I forgot to give that to my nephew. Gonna give it to my nephew who was with me last week, and he eats this stuff up. So, um, it's uh, the premiere issue. It's around the DS time, so I don't know. He'll love this. It was a quarter. It was a quarter at a Dairy Queen. A uh, Dairy Queen was having a garage sale today for charity. That was interesting. Okay, so um, let me see. Picked up Dead Rising 2 for a buck. Um, the best pickup of the day was the first one by far. Um, as you guys saw, I got a copy of Pokemon Crystal. Really nice condition. An N64 with the uh, expansion pack, always nice bonus. Um, came with an extra power adapter too, which is really nice. And two controllers, green and gray. The sticks are pretty bad. This guy played his stuff, which is nice to see. But I mean, not great for me, but you can tell he really enjoyed it. Um, he had a PS2 Slim there that I passed on. And the um, there's three or four controllers, and you can always tell when they've been played. The the sticks, the thumbsticks on them are just completely smooth, and all the um, all the uh, texture was gone. So okay, N64, two controllers, and a nice stack of games here. I was really happy to see these games. Army Man Sarge's Heroes, uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, a pretty rough copy of. Uh, Super Mario 64. Pokemon Stadium, which apparently are getting really expensive. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Games aren't in the greatest shape, and we're going to have to get that marker off the top. Mario Kart 64 with a kind of ripped label. Turok Rage Wars. I think I have that one. I think it's like Turok 2 or 3. I need pretty sure I have this one. And then finally a copy of Ocarina of Time. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So that'll go good with the um, the uh, box and manual that I got from King Carl's uh, subscriber contest. So that is it for today guys. Um, feel free to leave a comment below on any of the stuff, um, any of the games that I picked up that you've played and can recommend. Uh, go ahead and check out the Facebook page. I, Like I said earlier, I hit over a thousand um, Facebook likes, which is really cool. And um, yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, stay tuned. I'm going to try my best to get some other videos up, some more um, gameplay videos, hopefully. Like I said, it's been super busy. And um, go check out Bithead1000's channel in the link below. Anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and uh, thank you for joining the Facebook page, everybody who's sent or um, checked that out, so uh, I'll talk to you later, guys.